Hey family, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Let me welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host Khadija. I'm going to bring one nutty, nutty, nutty stories to y'all that you just, oh God, if it wasn't true, you would think it was a lie. Okay, now everybody remember Darius McQuarrie, right? McQuarrie. Uh, from that TV show, Steve Urkel, I guess one of them. Anyway, this man was granted a permanent. <laughs> he got, did he get a run for his money? He was granted a permanent restraining order against his former fiance who was once married to the late musician Rick James. Now you, okay, now let's stop right here. As high, as high as Rick James was getting, and the woman that was with him, burning people with pipes, doing all that kind of stuff, why in the hell would you even want to go with her? Don't you think that the chances of you getting messed up by this crazy broad would be, <laughs> what, what you thought? What the, this this bitch ain't been in no kind of rehab or no kind of what in the world would you think? She didn't get you a run for your damn money. You anyway. Let me. I'm sorry. According to court documents obtained by Radar on Radar Online, at the hearing last week, a law and the superior judge granted Darius uh, Darius's plea to extend his temporary restraining order against his ex, Tanya Hajazi. The actor testified in court about the alleged abuse he suffered while with Tanya. <laughs> this is not funny, but it's funny. Because I can't understand. That's crazy. See, sometimes we, and, I, and, I, and when I talk about this, I'm thinking about when my mind wasn't right. You get involved with all kinds of crazy people. You know damn well. You should look at their track record and be like, mm mm. Some of us are hard headed. Some of us are, um, we say it ain't gonna happen to me. Or we think this person uh, love us and they're not gonna treat us the way they treated other people. Um, but that's not necessarily the case because one of the hardest things it is for people to do is change. Okay, so if you meet a woman or a man who is a whore, um, who's um, uh, dishonest, who uh, is loose sexually, you when you meet somebody like that, and that's what they do, they, they don't change. Very seldom do you find a person that changes. Change is hard, baby. I don't give a damn what they say. They might make some concessions and they might change some stuff in your presence. But if they was a dog then, they a dog now. And you need to watch and beware of the signs. So Darius walked right into this with Tanya, who was beating his ass. Darius's ex was not in court for the hearing, for the hearing, but the judge ordered Tanya to stay a hundred yards away from the actor and cannot communicate with him at all. And they also told Darius that he has to write to record Tanya's conversations if she reaches out to him. Rick and Tanya were married from 97 to 2002. Darius proposed to Tanya in November 2021, and the relationship has been extremely, extremely rocky. Back in December, Darius filed his petition for a restraining order. The 46-year-old claimed that he was emotionally traumatized and couldn't focus on work due to the alleged abuse by this woman. He said uh, he had to flee from his previous home after his ex turned it into a drug den. He said she previously in agreed to enter a rehab. However, he said she returned and is now calling and sending threats. She has taken my possessions and placed them in storage, and refused to return them. The items include his expensive electronic items and his equipment and his personal clothing. Um, she has, 
She has been and continues to be mentally abusive, he claimed. He claims that Tanya threatened to have her friends come and take my dogs and that she will leak stories to the media if I don't pay her. She has keys to my vehicle. I'm afraid she will cause further damage. She continues to call me a punk bitch fucker and is slandering my name in several professional circles of the entertainment industry. Why, honey? Why? Why, honey? He said, please help me. I fear I may end up like Phil Hartman. Phil Hartman, in case y'all don't remember, is a Saturday Night Live star that was killed by his wife in a murder-suicide uh, pack back there in 19... Was that 98, somewhere around there? Now, um, this is sad. Um, this is sad. This story was written by Ryan Norman, uh for Raider Online, and this is where the story comes from. Now... Yes, this is a sad situation, a very sad situation to be running from a crazy drug-induced uh, woman or man who's not thinking right because they are fiend, and now they after you. Darius, you know, it's only a piece of paper, and I wish you well. Maybe it might be time for you to move out of Hollywood. You know, and if you really feeling like you're going to end up like Phil Hartman, it might be something that you might uh, take into consideration. Since your house is a drug den, which I don't know what you thought would happen dealing with her, but uh, you got your restraining order, and now you're going to have to make some moves now. It's, it's serious. What y'all think about Darius McQuarrie and his uh, ex fiance? Rick James, ex drug induced crazy girl uh, girlfriend. What y'all think? Leave your comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.